Modular Remote Terminal Units, RTUs for short, are used in a wide range of applications. For example, in telecontrol applications of the water and wastewater sector. I will now show you how to set up a modular RTU from a SIMATIC S7 controller. This can be accomplished either with a communication processor, CP for short, or a telecontrol interface module, TIM for short. Thanks to their multi-protocol capability, you can choose between the following well-known and widespread telecontrol protocols IEC 60870-5, DNP3 or the Siemens protocols Zenaut ST7 or Telecontrol Basic. You can thus set up a PLC-based modular RTU based on SIMATIC controllers and connect it to a SCADA center. In the next 10 minutes, I will demonstrate you how easy it is to configure and commission an RTU with IEC 60870-5 protocol. I will use a distributed controller SIMATIC ET200SP and a CP1542SP-1 IRC. The CPU acquires a measured value from the level sensor C-Trains LH100. In addition, it controls a valve. The valve is simulated on the panel. As control system, a WinCC telecontrol project with IEC 60870 driver is pre-configured. The ET200SP RTU has the IP address 192, 168, 100, 20. The IEC Master has the IP address 192, 168, 100, 100. As IEC address, also called ASDU, I use address 20 for the RTU. The IEC Master operates under IEC address 1. Our IEC RTU is to transmit an alarm and a measured value to the control center. The alarm is a message with timestamp, thus a single point, TI30. The information object address, IOA for short, is 1. The measured value is a real value with timestamp. According to IEC standard, TI36, IOA address 5. The command from the master to the RTU is a single command, according to IEC standard, TI45 with IOA address 20. I have already prepared a TIA portal project. It consists of a distributed controller ET200SP. The CPU reads the fill level from the C-Trans LH100 sensor. A digital input and digital output are simulated on the panel in our model design. First, I add a CP1542SP-1 IRC, which I place to the right of the CPU. Then I connect the CP with its Ethernet interface to a WAN for communication with the IEC master. Next, I configure the IP address with which the RTU communicates with the master. This IP address is 192, 168, 120. Now I select the communication protocol, IEC 60870. Then I configure the IEC station address of my RTU, in case of IEC 60870, the so-called ASDU. The ASDU address is 20. Now I configure the connection to the IEC master. The RTU must know via which IP address the IEC master can be reached. For this, I change to the connection configuration. Network view, telecontrol, IEC 60870. I set up a connection from RTU 20 to the master with the IEC address 1. The starting point is RTU 20. Master or endpoint is IEC address 1 with IP address 192, 168, 100, 100. The IEC partner is of the type master station. In order for the IEC RTU to be psychically synchronized by the master with date and time information, we configure the time synchronization in the CP's interface. Receive or request time in the time grid of, e.g. once per hour. The IEC control center is thus capable of establishing a connection to the RTU20. However, no process data is transmitted yet. In order for our process data to be sent from the RTU20 to the IEC master or commands to be received from the master, we create so-called data points in the data point editor of the CP. A data point is an IEC information object. It is read by the CP from the ET200SP CPU and transmitted as a process value via the IEC protocol. A data point can also be a command or set by the master to the RTU. 
We now switch to the data point editor of the CP. I open the PSC tag table or the DB on the CPU. I simply drag and drop the CPU tag that is to be sent to or received by the IEC master into the data point editor. Thus, the process values are transmitted on this tag as IEC data points from RTU to master or from master to RTU. I then define the IEC object types and the transmission parameters. According to the task, we send the alarm as single point information to the IEC master. TI equals 30 and IOA address equals 1. According to the task, the measured value of the RTU, i.e. the level of the LH100, is sent as event to the master. Since this is a real value, this is TI36. Object address IOA is index 5. For the measured value, we still need to define the appropriate threshold value. Only if the measured value experiences a change greater than the threshold value will it be transmitted to the control center. This ensures that not every small change triggers a transmission and thus prevents unnecessary traffic on the communication route. We could of course also choose other criteria, such as cyclic data transmission or combined transmission criteria. Finally, I configure the command that we receive from the control center. We receive a single command, IEC type identifier 45. The information object address is 20. We still need to set the exact type of command that we will receive. That means whether we receive a persistent command or a pulse command. The configuration is now complete and we can compile and load the RTU. Once the RTU is fully loaded and in operation, the connection to the IEC control center is established. The control center indicates that the RTU20 is connected and we see the process data from the station on screen. If we trigger an alarm in the RTU, it will be displayed on screen and entered in the alarm list. Now I change the fill level in my measuring cylinder. The new fill level is detected by the LH100 sensor and transmitted to the control center. There it appears on the screen and inserted in the measured value archive with a timestamp. If we now send a command from the control center, it will be issued on the RTU. You can see how quick and easy it is to configure and commission a modular SIMATIC RTU. The configuration of an S7-1200 or S7-1500 RTU with our telecontrol CPs or TIM modules is just as quick and easy. If you want to operate the RTU with the DMP3 or CNOT ST7 protocol, this is possible as well with our multi-protocol CPs. In TIA portal, the configuration is nearly identical. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.